good evening. Uh, good to be here. I'd like to start off by saying that uh, I have been living here in the UK for a little while in a little town called Wolverhampton. Thank you very much. It is pretty beautiful. <laughs> I, uh, I remember driving into Wolverhampton for the first time and uh, I saw everybody in their track suits. And I thought, God damn, this place is really healthy. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you something. Living there has taught me a lot about you English people. You guys won't pay jack squat. You guys won't pay 10 pounds for nothing, okay? I was at this, in this little place called Bilston, okay? <laughs> and there was this guy selling meat <laughs> out of a freaking van, <laughs> okay? Don't worry. Now, there's something about a guy selling meat out of a van that attracts you people. <laughs> like flies. <laughs> you lose your minds, okay? And he had a crowd probably just a little bit bigger than this. <laughs> <laughs> Starts freaking everybody out, right? He's sitting there going, what I got here? Is I got a rump roast. Normally, $12.95. And everybody's losing it. Everybody's just looking at each other going, shit, he's right, it is 12. <laughs> this guy knows his meat price. <laughs> and he goes, do you want to know? What I'm going to do with this rump roast? <laughs> now, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm like, we got a mystery to solve here, Scoop. <laughs> What's he going to do with the rump roast? <laughs> goes, I'm going to put this rump roast on the scale. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I never saw that coming, man. <laughs> and he says, do you think this is all the meat I'm going to put on the scale? <laughs> do you think I just drove up here in a van with one rough brush? <laughs> I'm looking at him going, Man, if you did. <laughs> you are the most tragic meat van driver I've ever had. <laughs> well, you just driving around with one rump roast, are you? <laughs> he goes, I've got 18 pork chops! <laughs> do you want to know what I'm going to do with these pork chops? I'm like, man, I bet he puts them on the scale. <laughs> he goes, I'm going to put these... <laughs> I'm going to put these pork chops on the scale. <laughs> I'm like, I knew it, man. <laughs> you can't fool me twice, me man guy. And then he said this, and I will never forget this as long as I live. <laughs> as long as there is breath in this body, I will never forget this. <laughs> then he goes, I've got a bag full of faggots. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
over. <laughs> when he said, I've got a bag full of faggots. <laughs> well, didn't I just die? <laughs> I'll guarantee you right now I was the only one laughing. Because <laughs> you can't say that where I'm from. <laughs> and you especially can't have a bag full. <laughs> If somebody came up to me where I'm from and said, Tom, I got a bag full of faggots, <laughs> I'd go, you've changed, Gary. <laughs> I'm good I'm good I'm good yeah. And then he held the scale up like it was the Holy Grail. And, 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 and it was like this big holy mountain of meat. There might as well have been light coming off of it. And he, oh. <laughs> Trying to lick it. <laughs> but, but when we were looking at that mountain of meat, we were all thinking the same thing. I was watching everybody's faces. We were all just looking at each other going, just say it's a fiver. <laughs> When he said 10 pounds, <laughs> there was anger. <laughs> Mixed in with a lot of disappointment. <laughs> and that's when I realized, you like your cheap shit here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an 